Hello and welcome to Luminary Language Channel. Today we want to talk to you about morning routines of successful people. Successful people are simply those with successful habits. As you know, I'm known to be a highly productive person. I speak a hundred times a year, write four books a year, run three businesses and travel all over the world. People often ask, how do you do it? Well, I have a morning routine and I developed this a long time ago and it really works. What I do is I always get up two hours before my first fixed appointment. So let's say I have a phone call at eight o'clock, then I get up at 6 a.m. If I have to be in the office at 8.30, I'll get up at 6.30. It's always six plus or 6.30, maybe earlier if necessary, but always two hours before my first appointment. Then the first thing I do for the first 30 minutes is I exercise and I'll do stretching exercises. I'll do yoga exercises. Sometimes I'll get up a little earlier and I'll do aerobic exercises on a life cycle, elliptical machine, treadmill, or I'll swim. I usually swim every single morning, but for the first 30 minutes, get your body working. After that, I like coffee. Then I'll do a little bit of spiritual reading and I'll just relax and get my mind ready for the day. And then I'll get started within 60 minutes of getting up. I've exercised, prepared my mind, showered, dressed, and I'm ready to go. Then I have the next hour to plan prepare, have breakfast, and get to my first appointment. So give that a try. Get up two hours early. Exercise for the first 30 minutes to get yourself going. Read a little to prepare your mind, and then be ready to go one hour before you have to be somewhere. Few hours of the day are more important than the early morning hours. One of the great thinkers said, the first hour is the rudder of the day. It sets the tone for everything else that happens. These hours when you first wake up, set the tone for the rest of the day, affecting your mindset and productivity, during all the hours that follow them. The importance of these early morning hours is the reason why some of the world's most successful people carefully craft morning routines designed to help them start the day off right and make the most of hours that follow. If you would like to start each day in the best way possible, consider implementing some of these proven morning routines into your morning schedule. First, plan your day the night before. Planning out your day the night before may not exactly be part of your morning routine, but it is a great way to get your day started off right. In fact, I was just reading the story of a very successful, self-made, multi-millionaire, multi-business developer who said every single morning he starts off by reading his goals. Every morning, he never misses a single day. By planning out what you want to accomplish the night before, you can start each day with a plan in mind rather than waking up unsure of what you want to tackle first. Plan out your morning routine as well as what you want to do when that routine is complete. Then wake up the next morning and put that plan into action. Second, set goals for the day. Every morning, plan out your day the night before, but set your goals in the morning. For example, you may plan on working on a project all day. Then that morning, set a goal for how much of that project you want to accomplish. Setting goals in the early morning is an effective strategy since most people are ambitious when they first start their day. If you set ambitious goals in the morning, you'll feel more compelled and motivated to follow through with them as the day carries on. Don't start your day until you have it finished. Don't begin your activities of the day until you know exactly what you plan to accomplish. Don't start your day until you have it planned and do this every day. I know all this writing takes time and a disciplined effort, but remember that value is the fruitful result of discipline, not hope. Once you've mastered the art of planning your day, you're ready for the next level. Don't start your week until you have it finished. Don't begin your activities of the week until you know exactly what you plan to accomplish. Don't start your week until you have it planned. Just imagine what life would be like if you took time out of every Sunday to plan your week. Come Friday, you won't be saying, boy, did this week fly by? Where did it go? What did I do? No. If you plan your week before you start it, you'll know exactly what you want to do, what you want to accomplish, what you need to work on. If you learn to plan your days as part of your overall game plan for the week, parts will fit much better. Your days will be better, more effective. You'll be working smarter, not harder. And when you've learned to plan your week, guess what? You've got to plan your month. Don't start your month until it's finished. By developing a game plan for your days, your weeks, your months, by developing and following your game plan, your days and weeks and months all become part of a bigger plan, a bigger design, a long-term view of your life, 
a visual chain. You'll start gaining a greater perspective of it all because you are planning. It takes great discipline on your part, but it will soon lead to a new habit, a habit of mastering your time, a habit of discipline that will lead you to the good life. Third, avoid checking your phone or other electronic distractions. One thing that should not be a part of your morning routine is checking your phone or email as soon as you wake up. At best, it's a distraction that can interfere with the rest of your morning routine. At worst, it may relay disappointing news that can kill your motivation at a time when you need to be firing it up. Wait until the rest of your morning routine is complete and the workday has started before you check your phone. Julie Morgan, a time management expert, wrote a book called Don't Check Your Email in the Morning. Wait until 11 is a.m. and work for three solid hours before you check your email and then work another three hours before you check it again and only check it two or three times a day. In between, turn it off and leave it off. Fourth, stretch and exercise. Studies have shown that people who exercise in the morning are more likely to stick with an exercise routine than those who exercise in the afternoon. The reason is that when you wake up in the morning, you are refreshed and full of energy. In the afternoon, after a long day of work, you may not have the energy or the motivation to exercise. Stretching and exercising in the morning also get your blood flowing and give you a burst of energy and adrenaline that will help you start the day off right. Fifth, read. We discovered in the studies of self-made millionaires and multimillionaires that they all read one hour or more every morning. In the same way that exercising in the morning gets your body up and going, reading in the morning gets your mind up and going. Whether you are reading the morning paper, a novel, or anything else that interests you, the early morning hours are the perfect time to get a little reading in before you go off to work. My preference is always to read something that's educational, motivational, or inspirational that gets you a little bit pumped. Sixth, meditate. Meditation is an excellent way to clear your mind, relieve any stress, and help you focus on the task at hand. It's great for any time of the day, but it's especially beneficial in the early morning after you have done your exercise and woken up and your blood is flowing. Just take a few minutes to sit quietly and let your mind calm before you leave for work. Take the time to sit in silence, clear your thoughts, and focus on your breathing. One of the easiest ways to meditate is to focus on your breath, your diaphragm just below your stomach, and count in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you do this seven times, you'll have a complete meditation session. Not only will morning meditation help you enjoy all of the many health benefits associated with meditation, but it will also enable you to start the day with a clear, focused mind. Three steps of a rich man's morning routine. Step one, one minute visualization. Imagine you are rich. Feel like you're rich just by looking at photos of rich people for just one minute. You are rich today. You are ready to start building wealth. Step two, listen to positive affirmations for three minutes. I clearly visualize my financial success. I believe in my ability to achieve great wealth. I constantly attract lucrative opportunities. I'm always prepared to take action towards my financial goals. I am resilient and overcome obstacles with ease. I continuously learn and adapt for financial growth. I am a master of my finances and manage them wisely. I generously share my wealth and it returns to me manifold. I am grateful for my financial success and it grows every day. My positive mindset is a magnet for wealth and prosperity. I clearly visualize my financial success. I believe in my ability to achieve great wealth. I constantly attract lucrative opportunities. I'm always prepared to take action towards my financial goals. I am resilient and overcome obstacles with ease. I continuously learn and adapt for financial growth. I am a master of my finances and manage them wisely. I generously share my wealth and it returns to me manifold. I am grateful for my financial success and it grows every day. My positive mindset is a magnet for wealth and prosperity. Step three, close your eyes and meditate for one minute with a grateful heart, thinking that everything you do today will go well. Seventh, spend some time with your family. The morning may not offer much time for you to spend with your family before they are out the door, but you should take advantage of the time it does give you. Sit down and eat breakfast with them if that is an option. If it's not, 
at least take the time to talk with them for a little while before you all go your separate ways. There truly is no better motivation for the day than spending a little bit of time with the ones that you love the most. Best of all, it will be a great motivation for them as they start their day as well. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now. If you enjoyed this video and found it valuable in teaching you about the morning routines of successful people, subscribe to my channel like this video and share it with your friends.